Hello everyone and welcome to this first video with the camera and also my first tutorial on YouTube on Flutter. Today, I'm happy to show you how to create a Flutter app bar. I've seen a lot of people searching for the keywords on YouTube and also on Google, so I decided to create my own tutorial. Let's switch to VS Code right now. The first thing before starting is to define what is an app bar in Flutter. An app bar is the bar at the top of your application. This is a kind of navigation bar. You can add many things to this bar, for example, a leading, a title, or actions. It's a Flutter widget like others, so you can add widget inside of it. We'll see it a bit later in this tutorial when we will create inside of the app bar some actions with icon buttons, which is a widget in Flutter, and it will be clickable. So we will have the app bar with inside of it some widgets. The first thing you have to do to start with this tutorial is to create a new Flutter application. So you have to go in your terminal and type the following command, Flutter create, then the name of your application, for example, Flutter app bar tutorial. Then you press enter. Once it's ready, you can move into the repository with your terminal and open it in your VS code or in your favorite ID. Now you have opened your Flutter repository with your VS code. You can see the basic tree, so the basic project folder when you create a new application in Flutter. Inside of lib, you have the main, and if you run it like this, you have the demo application of Flutter. And you can see at the top, there is already an app bar. The idea here will be to clean this file, and then after we will modify everything to have a custom app bar. So I can explain to you how it works and how you can use it. So the first thing I recommend to you is to remove all the comments, all the auto-generated comments. So you can remove this one, this one also. We will create exactly the same thing, but the button to add to increment and decrement will be in the top bar. So we will have a plus and a minus, and the idea is to have the same behavior as here, but with the hub bar. So you can remove all the comments like this, this one also, then you have something more clean. Now we will remove also the title here because we don't need it. We can just remove it like this. You can remove it here also. And because it's used here, you can replace it by, for example, my Flutter app bar. Then when you refresh, the app bar is now with this title. I also suggest you to remove the body. So you can remove all the body like this and just keep the center because at the moment we will not care about uh, this part. You can also remove the floating button action. Then the function increment counter, we will recreate it again after and also the counter. So now you have a clean application. So just something very simple with the main build of your application, with inside of it, the title of your application, your home page, then inside of your home page, you have the scaffold. The scaffold is the main container with the material design. What is provided by Flutter when you create a new application is ma the material design. And inside of it, you have a set of widgets and the scaffolds is the container. Inside of the scaffold, you have the app bar, the body, you have the bottom bar and many things. Here, we will focus on the app bar. So if you check the app bar right now, we have just a title. As I explained in the beginning of this video, we have many possibilities with the app bar. And today we will create a leading and we will create some actions with the plus and the minus. What we can do now is to create all the parts of the app bar. So for example, the leading, we will create a text to start and we will put just leading inside of it. So now if you see here, we have a leading. So it's the first part of the app bar. Then you have the middle part and the end part. The end part is called Actions, and it's an array of widgets. The idea here is that you can put, for example, two text. We have one, two. Here you have difficulties to see it because it's at the end and it's ugly like this. But we will change it. Don't worry about it. Now we are ready to create our actions. The first thing we will do is to create the logic. To do that, we will create the counter. Well, in counter equals zero. Then we will create a function to 
increment and function to decrement. So the first function will be increment counter and the second one will be decrement. But the first thing we need to do is to implement the logic. In this case, we will increment the counter and in the other case, we will decrement it. So here we can remove that decrement counter and it's going to be counter minus minus. So now the logic is ready. We will move on the design part. The design part is to display this counter in the body like we had before, but we will do it again so we can, you can understand how it works from the beginning to the end. So in the center, in the body, we will have one child. This child will be a text with the following text, which is the counter. So we display the counter and we will put a style, style, text style and a font size 50. Then we can refresh. Now we have the counter here and the value is zero because here the value is zero. Do you remember when I was talking about the widget array here in the actions? So we can replace this Q text by two icon buttons. So the first parameter is an icon with icon icon dot remove for the minus and a second one icon button with a icon add. Now if you check the emulator we have the minus and the plus but we can't click on it because it's not uh, defined in the code right now. To handle these clicks we can create a new property inside the icon button, which is unpressed. And we can call the increment and decrement function. For the minus, it will be decrement counter. And for the plus, it will be increment counter without the parenthesis. Now we can save. You can see that the buttons are now white, which means that the unpressed is defined and if you click on the plus you have one two three and on the minus two one zero and to finish this application we will replace the leading so we have something clean to finish which is a icon with inside of it an icons dot accessibility for example you can put the icon of your choice here we want to have this uh, icon and now you have an application with a hub bar actions a leading and a title and you can execute actions directly inside of the app bar by clicking on the plus or on the minus thank you for watching this video i hope you like it if you like it please give it a like and leave a comment i would like to get your feedback on this new tutorial because it's pretty new for me i tried to use the camera and i tried to do something on flutter so give me your opinion and see you in the next video yeah.